G'day guys, now that we know what asymmetric information is, and more importantly what adverse selection is, we're going to go into what's called the Lemons model to discuss how the quality of goods in secondhand markets is affected by the presence of adverse selection. So let us say that in the secondhand market for cars, you've got two different types of cars. You've got high quality cars, or what we can call good cars, and then you've got lemons, which is just another word for bad cars or for low quality cars. Let us say that good cars are typically worth about $15,000 and lemons are worth about $10,000. So we've got these two types of cars and in the last video we mentioned that an example of adverse selection is when the seller has good knowledge of the quality of a good they're selling and the buyer does not. This is the case in the secondhand car market. The seller of a car knows what the quality of the car is. They know how good it is. But the buyer doesn't have the same level of information they do. They might not realize you know, how many times it has broken down over its life or how reliable it is. So the seller can try to exploit the fact that the buyer lacks that information. Now let's see what the consequences